So, welcome back to a brand new match review of the brand new season, the 2021 season. And starting off with a very great result against Sheffield United, winning 2 0 away at Bramwell Lane. And yeah, I'm going to be giving my thoughts, my opinions on the game. Um, so, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So, starting off with the team, um, it was interesting. I didn't think we'd have went with that sort of system. I thought we went, would have went for the three midfield with Neves in there, with Dendonka and Matinho. But we went. We went for the we went for the two midfield, and I was a bit iffy here and there because we know how we know how strong uh, in the midfield Sheffield United can be, and I thought you know we've we've seen it before where we've been bullied off in the midfield, and um, teams have just overpacked the midfield, and we've struggled a lot. But we went with that. Uh, we saw Marcel at left back as well, which I thought we would have went with an ad great, and I thought in my fancy Premier League team we would have went with him. That's why I put him in the team. Um, didn't, didn't end up getting a game, so, you know, but, yeah, Marcel played, and, yeah, getting straight into the game, really. Um, I thought, I would say, it's one of the best, I'd probably say one of the best 10 minutes um, of football I've ever seen, like the first 10 minutes of football I've ever seen. Um, I think the only, I think it could even be one of the best first offs I've seen. Um, I think the one that can only beat that is against Arsenal, when he was free and look, but, yeah, again, them first two goals in the first, what, seven minutes or something, um, it was brilliant. And you could see uh, the way we was going at games. We're going, we're going to be a lot more offensive as well, uh, go for games a lot more, because we saw last season where we didn't get a lot of goals uh, in the first half at all, really. Um, there was always coming in the second half, it was always a second half team. And the first halves were normally very boring. Like There was literally no point watching a Wolves game uh, in the first half. You might as well wait till the second half, but... Yeah, it was it was a brilliant start, really. Uh, Pedence gaining on the left hand side, uh, skipping past the skipping past the right back, um, getting get to the edgy area, uh, whipping a ball in, and again Jimenez was it first time, first time like half volley sort of thing into the top corner. Um, Keep had Ramsdale had no chance really of saving that, um, and it was a brilliant goal. Like the, he had to kind of bring himself back and just hit it first time, not even taking a touch. Was brilliant. Um, Pedence is get uh, as well. I thought for the whole game is really good, um, skipping past past players and Neto as well. I thought them them two were just so good in the game, um, and I'm gonna say Josh is gonna have to do a lot to get into this team. I don't know if he'll start against Stoke in the Carabao Cup. I don't know, um, but I thought today they was brilliant them two, um, and then the second goal coming soon after as well. Neto uh, from the corner, whipping the corner in, and Sace again. Uh, top top corner, a brilliant header as well. Again, Ramsdale had no chance of any of the goals, so he cannot blame the goalkeeper for them sort of mistakes. But I thought oh, throughout the game, I thought Sheffield United were very poor from set pieces, and we had, we could have scored from a lot. I know there was Sace in the second half where we could have got another goal from a corner, and then I think near the end, near the 80th minute, Jimenez had a chance where he hit the post. Like there was, they seemed really poor from set pieces. Where on the other hand, I thought. I think they got into double figures for for set pieces, I believe, and I thought it was brilliant. I think one or two at the end were a bit iffy, um, but I thought overall it was brilliant. And this, yeah, the second half wasn't great. Um, we started to slowly get into the second half um, as it went on, but you've got to say we we literally haven't played a preseason game at all. I know Sheffield United have played four or five games uh, of preseason. We've literally the players have been together for. The whole the whole team, you should say, have been together for I think three days, and some of these some of these teams have been together for what two three weeks now, playing four or five games. So our match fitness isn't there, um, and we haven't got the full connection with the new players like Marcel and Vitinha who came on. So uh, it's hard to judge the second half really because yeah, like I said, with our match fitness was never going to be there. We're never going to keep up that sort of intensity for the whole game. Um, but again, overall, I thought I thought he was brilliant. I thought Marcel um, was solid. Um, you can definitely see when um, when Leon fans were saying he's a bit is a bit rash and likes a yellow card because there's a few challenges. But I think overall he was solid. I think he didn't really put a foot wrong. Really, there were some really nice touches and some really nice uh, one twos with Pedence as well. Uh, I thought they looked really good down that left hand side. Um, and again, I thought I thought it was just it was just really good. I think Troyore had. Was solid. I think the back three were were brilliant. I think Cody um, was brilliant as well. Bolly Sace was really good. I think I think they gave Sace man of the match. I believe, um, which again Sace was brilliant. Obviously scoring a goal. Um, he could have got a couple of in the game. To be fair, he went one on one with the keeper at one point. But um, 
and then also claiming one off the line, but I thought everyone was brilliant. Um, but yeah, going into the game against Man City now, uh, full of confidence. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts on the next game against Man City. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.